Okay, let's take a thumbnail before we forget. Thumbnail. Hi guys, my name is Trin, and today we have a guest. Hi. This is Monique. Hello. If you don't remember her. You might have seen me before. I will leave a video, a link up here to the video that we did like two months ago, three months ago? We did in May. Yes, we did post, post graduation. We did at the end of May. High school graduation. High school graduation. <laughs> we did not graduate. Yeah, unfortunately. This past year. Anyway. Anyway, so... <laughs> <laughs> so today we decided to collaborate and give you this video, which is like advice for incoming college freshmen. You had to look down. <laughs> We decided to take our experience when we were a freshman and just make advice, give you advice, I'm sorry. <laughs> Without further ado, <laughs> we're gonna start before we ramble on for literally 20 minutes about nothing because that's what we did last time. I know. Okay, I'll, I'll go first because it is my video. So this one deals with like dorm because like I move into a dorm but my school is literally like 45 minutes away from my home. Honestly, I didn't have to take so much stuff from my house to the dorm don't bring all of your wardrobe to school so if you're a person who loves fashion you truly don't need to bring everything to your dorm like ever mm -hmm. you just need to bring the things that you know you will wear not the things that you think you will wear number two okay number two has to do with actual studying front load at the beginning of your semester always keep like little bits of studying here and there because if you have a test and you cram the night before it sucks and you're like oh my gosh i don't know anything but if you like keep up with like your studies you're good to go yeah easy right but try to do it. <laughs> Seems easy, is actually hard to execute. Yeah. So. Number three, don't try to finish your homework the night before, especially an essay. A seven page essay. Don't do it. Oh, that's don't not do that it. bad. No bitch, I suffer. Homegirl, like, I, I did a 17 page paper. The night before? The night before, I finished it at 6 a.m. You see? Listen, it's hard, but it's possible. <laughs> This is terrible advice. I'm so sorry. I got an A on the paper though. Uh, it's all worth it. But trust me, you don't want to do it. If like your class is hard and you know for a fact that, okay, I need to get a decent grade on this essay, you know, a research paper, don't do it the night before. Okay, let me tell you the story, okay? Like my last essay, my seven page essay, I did it the night before. So like I finished around 3 a.m. But then I was like, no, I need to like make sure everything is a-okay. So I went to sleep, woke up around seven. I felt sick. I threw up. It was so bad to the point that I'm just like, I cannot revise my essay. So I just send it in and be like, dear professor, I am sorry for this bullshit, but I am sick. <laughs> I emailed you the essay, so there we go but after what i just felt like crap because i threw up but also my essay is shit that's why i tell myself to never do this ever again okay don't do it the night before like you will regret it so much Ew. mostly because there's a good chance you will get sick yeah i got sick a lot that's disgusting <laughs> but also it happens that's a fun story fuck you number four take good notes and listen in class don't be that kid who falls asleep in class all the time because you're gonna miss it pay attention it actually just like helps with studying because if you know what's going on in class you're it fine. helps out so much more yeah number five go to class and don't be late to class i am the queen of being late to class guys i'm not kidding i'm always damn late whenever i'm on time i'm just like Finally, this is what it feels like, you know, a sense of accomplishment. But a good majority of time, I'm late. And it sucks. Because mm -hmm. I remember one time, my psychology class, we always do like clicker questions and stuff like that. We usually do it at the end of the class. So one time I was like 10 minutes late to class mm -hmm. and I got there. Turns out I missed the question of the day thing and I didn't mm -hmm. get points for it because I was late. I don't am. do that, okay? Like, don't be late to class. Try your best to be like early or on time. Mm. On time is like good, early is like better, but late is never okay. Number six, don't wear PJs to class. Just because you can wear PJs to class doesn't mean you should. At least have some kind of like <laughs> respect for the professor. You made the effort to already go to class, might as well put on some nice clothes. Now listen, sweatpants and like a hoodie, that's like a different story because like everyone wears <laughs> hoodie and sweatpants. I'm talking like tacky, like the pajama pants with like the matching shirt. I think you should just be ready, like presentable all the time. That's just me. So 
Don't be that kid. When it comes to pajamas, I just wear my t-shirts. So you can just wear like your t-shirt, just take off your pajama pants, put on a pair of jeans, yeah. put on a hat, boom, That's you're ready. That's actually my outfit. Like you don't time. even have to wear a bra. Like honestly, I don't wear my bra half the time because I'm just like, now who cares? I don't care, but I know some people care, but so does that. But if you don't care about wearing your bra, you don't have to. What if you're running to class? That hurts. There we go. Number seven, keep a planner to keep track of your work. Slash. This is slash. Be organized, okay? So I keep a journal. The beginning of 2017, I bought myself a bullet journal and I use it to keep track of my um, homework, my classwork, what is due like a month Ooh. before and everything like i kept it all organized color coded organized. too yes yeah, color coded like you see here this is like literally my plan for april and may like april and may i had so much to do like so many things due in april and may so be organized keep a journal you can do bullet journal you don't have to honestly just any journal it will save your life Number eight, keep a journal for like, you know, not like, like kind of like a diary and like take pictures because you're going to want to look back and be like, wow, this was my freshman year of college. You know what I mean? Those are like things that you can't really see again unless you save your Snapchat stories, which I do. And that's the reason I have oh, yeah. Snapchat. You can save your Snapchat stories. Yeah. Make you memories. Just, you got to remember that stuff, you know, it's priceless. You want to show your kids like, hey, this is what I did when I was in college. Okay. <laughs> it's good for posterity and for yourself as you get older. I was gonna say that I wouldn't show anything to my kids, but I'm like, I didn't even do anything fun, so it's, t it's totally okay, you know. Are you gonna show them this? Yeah, I will save this video forever and ever and ever. Oh. And our children can see it and be like, wow, our parents oh. are so cool. Or our parents are so lame. You'd be like, oh, uh, Auntie Trin had a vlog. I'd <laughs> be like, yeah, she did. <laughs> Number nine, make new friends and join some clubs. I made some new friends, sort of, sort of, sort of. Clubs. I joined one club, went for two weeks, and just never went back. <laughs> Wait, which club? Taekwondo club. <gasps> ah, right. I had my reason to not continue that club. But then I could join the like other clubs, you know, put in more effort. But I didn't. Slightly regretting that, but it's okay. I have sophomore year, you know, I can start you have time. anew. Put in effort, you know, to, <laughs> to have new friends. You don't have to, but it's best to. Number 10, don't be that kid at the party scene. Listen, I know you're excited about being all independent and away from your parents, <laughs> but don't be that over ambitious freshman who like tries to go to every single party. It's not cool. You kind of just look <laughs> desperate. <laughs> And it's just like, you're seeking friends in the wrong places and like trying to get trashed every like weekend. No, homegirl, no. <laughs> oh, <we're> Don't <laughs> do it. <laughs> I went to a party and I was a designated driver, okay? So it was fine. And I went with upperclassmen, so I was cooler. <laughs> I saw this girl in my, we had uh, freshman like small groups mm -hmm. for like orientation and stuff. Yeah. I saw her outside puking her brains out and I was like, oh. Honey, no. <laughs> so don't be that kid, please. Number 11, keep in touch with your high school friends. If you have high school friends, keep in touch with them. Either FaceTime them or have Snapchat streak with them. We don't have Snapchat streak, no. but occasionally I'm just like, let's FaceTime. And you're like, okay, then we just FaceTime <laughs> for like an hour or two and it's like totally fine. But like, you don't have to do it like every week, just like twice a month is fine. Like. Sometimes like once a month is fine. Yeah. Like just like Every have a connection. Then. Yeah. Like do something together. Like I have Snapchat streak with so many of my high school friends and that's how we keep in touch. Number 12, call your parents. They are the ones that got you to college and raised you your entire they life. They gave birth to you. Yes, they did. Well, one of them did. One of them helped. So call them, especially if you're the youngest, like me. Your parents are empty nesters now. <laughs> it's kind of, they get lonely. So it's nice to just keep in touch with them. I try to call like every week or something and be like, this is what's going on in life. But they appreciate it. It's nice to like get a call from home. So call your parents. This one is like to like the nerds out there, specifically readers. If you read a lot, then like this is for you. If you like to read for fun, don't worry too much if you're not reading a lot. Cause that's how I felt towards like the end of 2016. Damn it, School always come first, okay? Always finish your assignment and everything and then read for fun. Don't just read and then be like, oh shit, I have a test tomorrow. I didn't study. Why? Because you were busy reading. Well, that sounds so bad. Could also apply to people who watch Netflix all yeah, the time, there like we go. me. Where you really just want to finish Gossip Girl, 
but you also have to study. <laughs> Number 14, make memories. If your friend is spontaneously like, hey, let's go hiking, do it. If your friend's like, hey, we should go to this like school event, it might be lame, but like, let's go with each other. Do it. Do all the stuff you can to like make your freshman year memorable. In my head, I'm just like, oh, I'm not doing that. Do you want to add anything to that? No. Wrap some of your new friends and just go shopping. That's Those are fun. memories. Yeah. I did that with Rebecca. It was fun. Aww, cute. <laughs> and number 15, take care of yourself. This one's a broad one. You're all alone, not alone, but independent from your parents right yeah. now in college. You don't have them nagging you to like do the stuff that you need to do. Whether it's mentally, like, I don't know if your college offers like a counselor, but like ours does. And like, that's cool. I like to do that. Get plenty of sleep. Yeah. That's good because you'll drive yourself crazy if you don't sleep. Physically, exercise. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> but I should. <laughs> but I feel like walking from building to building is like That's good like enough. Pretty good exercise. Don't be like a, a potato, you know? Where you just kind of lounge around inside. Also physically, like eat well. I know ice cream is available for <laughs> breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Does it mean that you should? No. You should at least try to cut back from the ramen noodles. Even though it's easy and delicious, you should try to like throw in a vegetable in there because that's important too. And also spiritually, whatever faith you practice, you should keep it up because that's important. Especially for like me, I go to church every Sunday and sometimes during the week and that's really good to like help you in life. <laughs> <laughs> so just take care of yourself. You're doing this independently. That's my hat. This is my hat too. There will be more Monique coming soon. Like after this video, a vlog should go up where Monique is literally in like every clip ever. So that is it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you for coming over to my house and like- Thanks for with feeding me. me fried rice and a smoothie. See, I'm a good host. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos and I will see you guys later. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Give me a P. Give me an E. Give me T T Y. Who petty all that time? We did it! <laughs> We're so good. That was kind of bad. Okay. <laughs>